Hello. And <laughs> here we go. Okay. Shh. Hey, don't do that. You're messing up my video. Kermit. I'm look. Okay, look. I'm doing a draft. Okay. I didn't record the other part, but I built a deck from Ravnica Allegiance. It is a black, white, and red deck, which is my too. Don't you want to start over? No. No, I don't. This is going to work. It's fine. Okay. I built a black, white, and red deck. Look at my opening hand. Twilight Panther, mm -hmm. Imperious Oligarch, mm -hmm. and Macabre Mockery. Do you know mm -hmm. what that card does? I do. It's so good. It takes a creature from your opponent's graveyard, and you get to play that creature for one round. Yes. And it's great. Okay, so Comes your oligarch. I'm playing, first of all, my opponent's name is Sorcerer AF, and honestly, I love it. It's good. It's good. Yeah. I like it a lot. It's fun. Oh, look, my opponent is playing Orzhov also. Oh. Except I'm not playing Orzhov. I'm playing Mardu. Duh. Marda. No, it's Mardu. <laughs> I think it's Mardu. I mean, I guess I've not heard that pronounced. I assume it's Mardu. Twilight, Twilight Panther. Panther is like my favorite new card of all time because it's like this one two little kitty cat that can always get death touch mm -hmm. and kill anything. I like the Imperious Oligarch. She's kind of like uh, the the Queen of Thorns from Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. Just because she's old, mm -hmm. so you have you're an ageist. Well, she's old and she's imperious. Well, I got that vindictive vampire. Is a good card. I love Vindictive Vampire. I do like that as well. Whenever another creature you control dies, Vindictive Vampire deals one damage to target opponent, and you gain one life. Yep. Yeah. I put uh, several Vindictive Vampires into my Rakdos deck that the game that the arena game gives you the pre-made one, mm -hmm. so that when I'm sacrificing creatures all the time, it's just dinging my opponent. Now, when you say Rakdos deck. That Arena gives you, you mean the red and black deck that Arena gives you? Yes. Okay. But yeah. not like when, but like when you say the word Rakdos, I'm thinking of Ravnica Allegiance. Oh, you haven't gotten the new Raven Ravnica Allegiance decks that the game gives you? No. Is that oh. a thing? You'll have to find out. You're lying. <laughs> okay, there's Modify. We talked about that earlier today. Yes. yes. Okay, I thought I had a paper version, but I just have. Um, I just have an arena version. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. It's like destroy target creature or enchantment. or enchantment. That's the card you were really looking forward to. I was, yeah. Because you I want options. often like to put in destroy enchantment cards in your decks. But, but if I have an but if I have nothing. a destroy enchantment slash creature, I have more options. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just wasting a card that says destroy target enchantment when my opponent's playing no enchantments. Because that happens. Why didn't you attack with your Imperious Oligarch? I don't know. Or your Twilight Panther. I was scared. You could have forced a creature swap that would have come out in your favor. I don't know. Okay, I just was afraid of the lifelink, I think. Um, And I just wanted to hold out and see what I was going to get. I want to cast my drill bit, but for its spectacle cause, you know? Everything I, everything I see with spectacle, I'm like, I can only cast this for its spectacle cause. <laughs> what i've noticed that, that that you do that yeah because i'm like otherwise it's just not good if i don't cast it for its spectacle cost then i've overpaid yeah that's how i feel <laughs> okay twilight panther what am i gonna do i've still got macabre oh, really? mockery no but my opponent doesn't have any good cards in their graveyard yet they've got that one spirit that like doesn't let anyone attack for the next turn mm -hmm. but that's not that great i want something that's really gonna get them just death touch your panther and yeah. send it on. But I feel like it's better to have a death toucher as a blocker than an attacker, right? Because they can choose not to block my death touch creature. Okay, you're drill bidding it. You're going to pay full price for a drill Ugh. bit. Which is totally fine. It, it's on that card, you it actually know, is totally fine. You're going to be glad you did. I'm going to be glad I did because, oof, I can't deal with a flyer. I cannot deal with a flyer. <laughs> I've got to get rid of that. I was really proud of this deck, honestly. I thought it was so good. Did, did, it, you, did, it, did it win? 
I'm not gonna <laughs> give away the ending. This is only one round of my entire um, traditional draft. Mm-hmm. So the whole thing overall, I think um, I ended up winning. I had two wins. And then I didn't like overall win the entire thing. But I like the deck as a whole. I wanted I want to I want to play Orzov so bad because it's my favorite. Look at that. This person my opponent put that thing on the crocodile and I'm just gonna death touch it. Wasn't that dumb? So dumb. I guess they didn't realize. Oh wait, did their thing have lifelink? Yes. Oh, Sentinel's Mark gives it lifelink. Oh, because mm-hmm. they cast it during their main phase. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So I guess they realized it would have. Oh no, we have another spectacle. Okay, I cannot cast that except. Wait, no, that's the one that you. Its spectacle cost is higher. Uh huh. Because it makes them discard. I want to do this right now, and I'm gonna. I'm. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do Macabre Mockery because I don't like my opponent's creatures yet. I'm, this is a tough decision. Oh, I'm doing it. No, I'm not. Yes, I this am. Is... Oh, yes. Boy. Oh, the Sphinx. Yes. <laughs> this is so worth it. No, don't. No. Yes. Yes. A five-five flyer that they cannot block. No, There's it's a seven, no five way. Flyer. Oh, it's a seven-five flyer because Macab Mocker gives it the creature plus two, and it's hexproof. Oh, this is so good. Now I'm attacking with the Imperious Oligarch so I can get my spirits. Look at all the colors swirling around that Sphinx. He's every color. Wow. It is every color. Thank you so much. Okay, so now I'm doing damage. Mm, that was so good, right? They didn't block your Imperious Oligarch. Boy, that person... Sorcerer AF does not want you to have spirits out they there. They don't want me to have flyers. They don't want me to have flyers. But guess no. what? That means you should be attacking with your Imperial Oligarch every, every single time. Every time. Yeah, I know that now. And you skipped a lot of turns where you didn't do it. Shh. <laughs> I don't know what to do right now. I'm, I'm just like... Okay, this is a spectacle that costs more, but I don't think I have enough mana to cast it for a spectacle. Because <clears throat> it was three, four, five. Yeah, I could have. Yeah, Why but didn't... you can't unless you do damage oh. to the opponent in spectacle. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm Please so dumb. never play spectacle again. Spectacle is like one of the simplest, um, what's it called? Mechanics. Mechanics. And I still can't understand it. I finally it. blocked your thing. I still can't blocks. understand it. A- actually, Afterlife is the simplest mechanic. That's why I love it. Yes, and Afterlife is very simple. Yeah. But it's an effective simple, though. Oh! Goodbye. Goodbye, Sorcerer. I have. Okay, so now that now that all that the drafts are best two of three, it's like you get to sideboard in between. And this is new for me. Personally, on a personal level, this is really new. So I didn't know what to do, so I didn't do anything. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Look, my opponent just my opponent didn't do anything either. Look how fast that was. Do you even play this game? What am I doing right now? Mulligan. This is not a good hand. Yeah. Go. Okay, arrest or zeal. Got whites and no whites to cast. Twilight with. Panther, though. I know, right? I it's think sketch. I remember you freaking out about this. Excuse me. Do I do that? <laughs> Put it on the bottom. Put it on the bottom. Yeah, I did. I did. Yep. I've got to get that white mana because I want to play my Twilight Panther. There's a Twilight Panther. Oh, mirror match. Except I'm playing Mardu. Ooh, that's not good. Carnival. Oh, hey, I can. I think hey, I can cast damage? that. One damage. To target creature. Carnival's terrible. It's not. You could play that after damage goes out at your end step and kill something that maybe. only has one health maybe. left. Maybe. What do you mean maybe? Like you could. That's a fact. There's no maybe. This person's going to try to end it in one strike. <laughs> <laughs> if you death hit your creature, it's not going to kill me. 
It doesn't work on opponents or planeswalkers. I, I think that, that if you Google search Death Touch, that is one of the results that comes up pretty pretty high in the results list. If I death if I death touch a planeswalker, does it die? It doesn't. Right. But why did they just do that though? Maybe just to be funny. Oh, Sorcerer AF, you are so funny. I just don't even understand what you're doing. Sorcerer's got a source. That's all he can do. Do you know this person? No, but it's not a sorceress. I, it's not a witch. Yeah, but I think a sorcerer is not gender specific. Sorcerer is not gender specific. Sorceress is gender specific. But sorcerer is not, though. Should we be having this argument on your live, on your narration? Yeah. Do people care about this? I care about this. Oh, boy, you're coming out with a spire mangler. Guess what? Spire Mangler. At a non-ambush moment. I didn't have anything else I could play. I can't play any of my white cards. Look at that. Well, you are just wrecked. Yeah, I'm for I'm for restorated. Soon you get to play Carnage. Burn. Oh boy. My creature lost its flying and now is a defender. Ugh, I hate that card. Why did I get that played on me so much? Ooh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods. That's good. Um, three numbers to target opponent. The player discards two cards. I could do that. Do it. I could do Carnage. Um, Carnival is not going to do anything. Or I could cast Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Which is fine. Sacrifice two other creatures. I shouldn't play that because I don't have two other creatures. But guess what? I'm playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Don't judge me. <laughs> I just want to get something out there. <laughs> well, I could easily sacrifice you my Spire Mangler. Yes, you could sacrifice your Spire Mangler. Oh, boy. This person is playing everything that you played in the first game. I know. I'm sure they're having a good laugh. Oh, Ugh, you I need that white, white mana. mana. I know I need that white mana so bad. All right, now Carnage. I have to do it. Like, I have nothing else I can play. It's useful. You're going to drop them yeah. to one card? Yeah, that's, it's good. Discard's two cards. Yeah, mm -hmm. that it, that's good. It's only four mana. Like, do it. What am I waiting for? You are just always waiting. I have. I I like to think things through. Ouch. Mm. Take that, Sorcerer AF. Oh, there goes the Sphinx. Yes, I was so happy. I was so happy about that. Alright, I still have nothing. I can't... Okay, so the Priest of the Forgotten Gods, it would give me two black mana if I sacrificed two creatures. That's still not good. You know what I mean? Oh, that's good. We need to yeah, that there. is good. That is good. I can play that. I'd love to get my Twilight Panther out there. And I'd love to be able to cast my Arrestor Zeal. Why is this person looking at the Sky Tether? Okay, they stopped. <clears throat> okay, now I can use Priest of the Forgotten God's ability, but it doesn't help me. You, can't, you don't want two creatures. I do have two creatures I can sacrifice. Well, but you wouldn't want to do Vindictive Vampire. No. You want and, to use her in conjunction with Vindictive Vampire. And it, and what is what does it do? It gives me two black mana. Like, that doesn't help me at all. Her ability? Yeah. It makes your opponent kill her own creature. It does? Yeah. Ooh, this is good. Cult you Guild Mage. Sacrifice that dude right there. No, Cult Guild Mage is good. His abilities are good. I think Priest of the Forgotten God gives you two life, and your opponent has to sacrifice a creature. Maybe I'll hover over it and we'll see. If you, if I hover over it, like read it really quickly. If you scroll back to ten fifteen, you'll you'll see. Well, I'm not gonna scroll back. Viewers can scroll back. Uh, that time up. <laughs> I was like, I know that. <laughs> Cult Guild Mage is good for getting in that damage if you're if you want to if you want some to to cast something for its spectacle cost. Yes. See, my opponent is scared of Cult Guild Mage. Your opponent doesn't want to be that little doll. Yeah, it doesn't want to be like See, Marionette Jace. One damage. Oh, boy. 
Now, now they're looking at my priest of forgotten gods, and I'm not going to attack because I'm terrified. That's where you should be. I hate not attacking. It's <laughs> so hard. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I just want to... Yeah. Oh, finally! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. If you cast it during your main phase, a creature gains flying during an... Uh, bleh. Just cast okay. that thing. There you go. Yeah, but see, I've only got one, so I can't do that and Arrestor's Zeal, so that kind of sucks. But that was the best thing to cast, I think, right now. Target player discards a card. That could be do good. That it. could be good. That's what you need to do. Yeah. Let's see what I actually do. What am I going to do? I've got choices here. I did it! I did you, it! I'm smart. You played this against me, and you know the value of making your opponent discard a discard card. Cards. Uh-huh. It's worthless. There is value. Oh! Hi, Daisy. Hi. You want to come sit up here? Uh-oh. Come. Final payment. Coming at you. <gasps> Ouch. A sacrifice a creature. Oh, they're trying to destroy my vindictive... Oh, now wait. you do your sacrifice. Look! You lose, you lose two life... Oh, your opponent loses two life and sacrifices a creature. You add two and draw a card. Sure. So I'm going to do that before they they kill my vindictive that's, vampire. That's because you are smart. I did something good. Target any number of players. Okay, submit. All of the arrows are confusing. Sacrifice two <laughs> other creatures. I'm going to sacrifice a vindictive vampire before they can kill it. And I'm going to sacrifice my spire mangler because it's now useless. Submit. And you get to pop him for two. Yes. Maybe one. One. And I get to use, and I get two extra, I get two black mana and I draw a card. Oh, and their their little cat goes down. They had to sacrifice a oh, creature. Oh, the vampire again. Yes. So he did proc twice, once for killing himself. Wow. Oh, and no card. Did you see that combo? I think they discarded another sky tether. Good. I don't have any more Why flyers right now. That? I'll never know. I mean, because they couldn't play it, so they were just holding it. Yeah. But they have to, even after sideboarding, they have two sky tethers in their hand. I mean, I'm, deck. but I'm playing an Orzhov deck that mm -hmm. has a lot of spirits. Okay. So that's actually legitimate. Tithe Taker, is it that good? I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking about casting a, um, a Rester Zeal with Addendum just to get some damage through. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't really want to use that again. Tithe Taker... As afterlife, so there's that. Eh, it's mediocre, I guess. Gives you something to sacrifice. Yeah. Colt Guild Mage always has his abilities. Mm hmm. He's putting on a puppet show. Oh, I'm making them discard their one card! Dear Ruthless! <laughs> Ruthless! <laughs> well, oh my god, what? It was a oh, planes! It was a planes! Okay, it's fine. And they're like, ha oh. ha And they're like, it was just a plane. No, I don't give care. the panther death touch and attack with it. Oh, boy. I should have, though, shouldn't I? Ah. Oh, too bad you didn't have Spire and Cold Guild Mage. They, you know what? They could have cast that as a block, though. Yep. No, they no, couldn't they have. have they they didn't have it. it. Yeah. That's right. I'm dumb. But you know what? I've got a Rester Seal. I can kill their. I can kill their flyer. You probably could not have caught them with that in their hand anyway. It'd have been tough. Okay, I'm gonna cast the Thirsting Shade. Which honestly, I don't know how I feel about that card. It, it can pump, be pumped up a whole lot. But can't it? its pump is kind of expensive. It's three mana for mm -hmm. one for one one. That's expensive. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, I'm gonna give it to my Tithe Taker. Yes, smart move. They can Very block it, move. but it will not die. And if they do block, oh, it won't die. Mm. There you go. Now, just let let it rip. I don't know. Oh, it's because it's so the thirsting shade is so expensive because it has life link. Yeah, it has. Yeah, it has life link. Yes. That's why. Well, I just I don't know if it's that good or not personally. 
it looks cool though like it's art is really cool okay i'm attacking with the flyer i don't know why i'm not attacking with the twilight panther i i you just wa wanted to block i want to save it as terrified. a blocker yes yeah. i want to save it as a death touch blocker like that's what i want it for it's just putting up a little wall for me death touch creatures are very effective blockers yeah it keeps it keeps your opponent from attacking. Mm -hmm. Oh, they didn't block that. And now you can make them discard as soon as they draw. Oh, what are you doing? I'm doing one damage. Good God. What? You could have made him discard the card that he drew as soon as he got in his hand. <sighs> that would have been so mean. It was a it was an Orzov Guild well, game. You got lucky. <laughs> I was just trying to do more damage. I just didn't think about that. Well, you have, they are at an extreme disadvantage. And so pressing that disadvantage, in my opinion, is better than doing one damage. It's hard for me to be like just an outright asshole. I know. Play more blue. No. It'll teach you. No. No. I don't know why I just did that. My opponent was like, it's over. <laughs> yep, that's it. Okay, so that that was a round. That was good. Yeah, I, I, I'd already gotten one loss, and then I won that round. So, yeah, I think my deck was pretty sweet. So, Same as solid. Yeah. As long as you get that white mana. Yeah. Thanks for watching my one round of my Ravnica Allegiance draft. Let me know what you thought of my deck. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Why? Why you talk like that? This video brought to you by Cardsphere. Click their link in the description below.